A studio on Palm Jumeirah is what I'm offered today. It's a different kind of property than we've analyzed now. An H collection, seven palm, shall I buy it or shall I leave it? Shall you buy it or leave it? Welcome to The Brief. I'm Makram Hani, analyzing property. And today we'll be talking about the seven palm studio. It's a prominent property. Um, good location on the West Beach. And now we'll, we'll uh, talk about the location. I've added an area aspect on a map to our analysis today because I believe it gives everyone perspective on where is the positioning of the project and the property, including not only in the city, but inside a specific area and density. Now, when we look at Seven Palm, NH Hotel and Residences, we see this black point here. And this is the location. It's a very good location. Palm Jumeirah is an amazing place. It's, uh, it's a, an unrivaled location, I would say. It's very difficult to have another palm anywhere in the world, including in Dubai. Um, it's within, within meters from uh, great nightlife on West Beach. West Beach, I've been saying for a very long time, is one of the best places and most prominent places, beachfront places in Dubai. And um, I, I personally love it. And um, it's overlooking the uh, skyline of Dubai Marina, beachfront, which is upcoming, uh, blue water. So skyline of Dubai Marina, beachfront, and blue water and Dubai Eye, or Ain Dubai, as people would like to call it, or as it's called. And you can see all of those in front of you within your view. Um, it's within minutes uh, from um, the uh, very important also areas like Mall of the Emirates. Um, here is the Dubai Creek. Uh, beyond this here is the, uh, the Dubai Airport. Um, also you look at um, here IMG Word. Beyond this uh, point uh, um, is, is Al Maktoum International. So it's within a uh, few minutes from most of Dubai and definitely downtown Dubai we, we, we missed um, uh, downtown Dubai. Actually, this is not exactly downtown Dubai, um, but downtown Dubai will be something around uh, here, supposedly. Yeah. Okay. So this is downtown Dubai. So the the uh, the property is in a very good location. Now let's look at the numbers because the numbers do matter much, specifically with this property. Remember, it's an, not a use, not a for use property. It's a property that's meant for investment. It's 32 square meters only. It's offered to me at 1.22 million, so 1,220,000 dirhams. Um, you should all know that I added here the cost of purchase. So if you look at purchase expenses here, you'll see it at one. And that's the model I like. I've done already previously the model where you add this, you load it on operations. I would like to load it on CAPEX. I would like to load it on the value of the property itself. Rental income. Now you see rental income is great, huge compared to the size of the property, which is small. Look, it's a very well positioned property to do shorter term lets. I included by the way in, a, in the price, a small margin for furnishing because although this is a residential studio with a seafront sea view, I believe it is important to furnish the studio because this is will appeal so much to clients that will be uh, for shorter uh, term rather than longer term clients, shorter stays rather than longer stays. Now, you'll see the vacancy rate is also huge. And uh, the vacancy rate here is around 25%. Why? Because when we do shorter term, we never assume 100% occupancy. We assume 80 or 75% occupancy. I would like to assume 75% occupancy. You can be even in your assumption slightly more, um, slightly more cautious and assume a bigger uh, uh, vacancy than that. Now, the, the expenses also you'll see are pretty high because the cost of running and managing and maintaining and renting out and all of those is higher in such a property. So when you have somebody managing your long-term property, you'll probably pay him between four and 6%. When you have somebody running and maintaining your, your uh, sorry, managing your short-term property, you will pay him 
between 15 and 25 percent depending on the quality that he provides and the performance now you need to assume that in or to, to account for that in so you see that the operational ex operating expenses are higher than the ratio that we are used to in other properties that we look at again the property with time which we, we run through every time. We have here the five-year uh, uh, prospects, the five-year operating cash flow, which is very important. By the way, the property has a positive cash flow day one, hour one. As you know, I assume an 80% mortgage of the property, and this is what I've assumed here as well. So we go forward beyond that point, and we see that the cap rate is good. Um, I believe it's a decent cap rate, specifically when we talk about a single unit, a high-end project, it's a decent cap rate. Cash on cash return is very good. Um, IRR is amazing and the gross rental multiplier is very good, amazing. So I like the numbers on this property. The um, equity buildup as usual is, is beautiful. I like the equity um, buildup and I like the, um, the uh, ability of yours to do that over time. Remember here, when we talk equity buildup, um, we are talking the amount you've paid of the loan that is capital, including the increase in value. And the increase in value that we take here is very minimal. So it's regularly two to 3%, depending on the area uh, that we assume. And two to 3% is uh, below the historical average of property price growth uh, in an area. Now, we go, um, to the, the, uh, the uh, uh, numbers dancing, ten, year 10 to year 35. And here you'll see numbers that are amazing. I wanna just point out something over here. This property will have more potential to grow income with time because usually properties that are linked to tourism um, may have, now may have a devastating period because of a change in tourism, but beachfront property is beachfront property anywhere in the world. It has um, a prominence for a very long time and it's sustainable at the same level and positioning for a pretty long time. Even beachfront property that gets old, as long as it's maintained well, uh, does perform great. Now, here's numbers really dance. Remember, we bought a property for 1.2 million and we start getting 217,000 as a rental income, we start getting 106,000 as an operating cash flow. Remember, the amount of equity you would have put in in the beginning at an 80% mortgage is something around 240,000 dirhams. So imagine year 10, you start getting half of that every year. Now that is if we don't even consider that you've taken an equity release within that period because You've, you've taken a property, it grew in value, you've taken an equity release. So I believe, I believe it's, it's, it's a great cash flow. And, uh, and uh, by the way, here it's still net operating income. Sorry, I pointed it out as cash flow. The, the cash flow is still 50,000. So you need four years at that point of time if you didn't get any equity release to get back your, your, um, your money, your uh, equity that you've invested. Um, cap rate continues to improve, cash on cash return also. Uh, I'll not take more time over here, but I would say that I believe those are numbers that are really interesting and are really sense-making. And we reach here the, uh, um, the details about the financing assumption. And as usual, we said that we have taken a 3% rate. I would need to start increasing this rate very soon, 25 years mortgage and I've taken over here an 80% LTV, loan to value. On the expenses, you see that the property management expense is huge because I've assumed a higher than usual property management, actually much higher than usual, uh, because it will take time and money to run and market this property. Revenues and operating cash flow are great. Expenses, you will see the biggest part of expenses here is property management. It's not the maintenance charge. The maintenance charge is a, a smaller, much smaller than that. That's because of the nature of the product, because of what it is as a, as a product. Now, this property seems to make much sense. Numbers are great. Fundamentally, location is great. It has good prospects. I did not include the 
slide that shows you if it's good for a uh, future prospects because I believe everything around it is being established right, right now. Um, rehab, because it's a brand new building, not handed over yet. Uh, I believe it's a great property to uh, look at and to purchase. I will not be submitting an offer which is similar to asking price. I'll be submitting slightly less. Uh, although I'm attached to this specific property because I've looked at several in the building within the past few weeks. And um, I like the fact that there is very few studios that are looking to the front, which is looking to the sea and the beach. And I like that aspect. That aspect to me is of so much importance. It's uh, the prime of the prime. Usually developers don't build studios with such a great view. They build back front, back, back facing studios. At the same time, um, the, the, the um, ability to have a unique product in a building pays off. Scarcity is the mother of all value. And um, I, I like it. So I'll be submitting an offer on it. I hope that um, you enjoyed it. And I hope that I've added value to you. Thank you.